before these all fall off. This is how I'm having it. So on this side we've got four on the bottom and then three on the top and then five and then seven and eight and then ten on the bottom and then obviously and I've got enough room for one, two, three on here which I don't know what to do with. It seems... Uh, yeah, it just seems a bit of a waste, but three, I can't do anything with it. Anyway, there's 60 batteries, so that's how they're going. So now I've got to figure out series, parallel, where the wires are going to go, and I know I'm going to have to put some links across uh, to get the parallel side, and also the series links and everything. I may have to make this a bit longer, actually. I'm just measuring this piece of aluminium out. This is aluminium, or aluminium, or whatever you want to call it. Plastic, putty, don't care. Anyway, this is how the battery layout is going to be. Now on top of this, I've also got another layer like that. But that's going to go like that there. So, what I can do is... I can put a handle, put some supportive material along the top there and put a handle on the top somewhere. Don't know yet. On the sides here, this bit, I'm going to um, bend it over probably about 10mm just to give it some support that way. You know what I mean? So that's going to go on there, that's going to go on there that's going to be that eye so these are obviously going to be double height the wiring I've still got to finalise um, it's not bloody easy at all I mean what I could do is I could actually um, start putting actually no I've got to finish the wire and I've got to figure out exactly what goes where, the link wires and everything else before I can actually shit. You see it's going something like that. Yeah, that is the only way I can do it. The pedal itself um, comes to here, it goes in an arc like that. It doesn't touch that, my feet aren't going to be in the way. This is by design like that, so as I've got more leeway and everything. It's going to be fine. This is the only way I can possibly do it. <laughs> oh, God. I don't believe the hassle I've had with this. I really can't. So this is how it's going. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my wiring diagram and get the batteries laid out and then I can start spot welding them together and then I've got to put all the link wires in and parallel series <laughs> there you go, that's how they're going um, what I'll do is I'll leave a, a diagram, a wiring diagram I'll put it on screen now so you can actually see it these things are, are held together now with what I'll call bogey tape I don't know where the hell I got this stuff from. It's uh, Scotch. What's it called? Bond jointing. It's basically that. It's horrible. It just rolls into a ball like a bogey. Um, the reason being, I, I, I thought about this again. Um, in the original one. I didn't actually attach anything, I didn't attach them at all and they were just floating and I thought well with the vibration and everything else it will wear the insulator off. If you wear the insulator off it leads into problems so and if you use hot glue all you're doing is putting hot glue against there and hot glue cracks. It separates from whatever you put it on. So with this stuff because you can't really see it because I put it in between it's not going to start wearing off, it's not going to start wearing the the insulator. So I've done that, I don't know what I'm going to do now <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> I'm stuck again. I think what I'm going to do is I've got to cut this to the right 
length obviously so I think I'll do that and then I'll decide on how to do the edges because I've got a little I've got I've got to lip them over just for some support I mean I ain't got a clue what I'm doing about the covering yet <laughs> so I'm gonna cut this to size and then we'll get from there oh, one battery done there now this is how it's going to be laid out as you can see there's the down tube and there's the crossbar now I've laid, I've put this out instead of putting on some aluminium but you know what happens turn it up right, don't even think about it, short something out fire happens no squirrels left so what I've got to do is a series connection from there to there there to there there to there there to there then that's going to be the battery negative on the inside and that's going to be the battery positive on that side there simple as that or got to turn that around that way no because then no I need to keep the cable runs as short as possible so I'm going to have to do some bloody soldering up now, that's the only downside, is that right? Negative, negative, and then we've got three in parallel, two in parallel there, one in parallel there, that gives me three, six, right. <laughs> this is, this is f dangerous. <laughs> Before you build a battery that's a custom layout and a custom design and you've got series parallel cables connections and everything going on everywhere like I have here, um, what you need to do is figure out how you're going to do the wiring, the series and the parallel wires. So what I've got here, this is the first battery, this is the negative side, sorry, that's the negative side of the first battery. Now if you imagine the bike that's the front so this one will sit at the front there's the down tube there so this is a parallel uh, parallel positive side and that's the only place I can actually take it from because I've got the negative ones coming off here so I'm going to have, that's the only thing that's in series, but because of the short run, I, I don't think it'll have any problems. It better not do. <laughs> now this is the negative side of the parallel part. If I'd have put those on there first, and then put the wires so as they're out here, and then connect them to that side, I would have to put the batteries up together and then solder it on, which I couldn't have done because of getting them so close together. You see what I mean? So what I do, what I'm going to do is, I'll thread that on there like that, and then all I can do is strip that and then put it down. Um, sorry, push it down and join it onto the series parallel connector there, and then the same with the positive one. So you've always got to be mindful of which connector to do first, which series or parallel wire that you've got to do. So, uh, I don't know, I'm not happy with that, but there's nowhere else I can take it. I can't put it on there because those are going to go over there. That is the only possible place I can put it, I think. Here it is. There is no other way. I'm gonna. I'm just have to have to go with what I've got. Obviously, this isn't going to be handling mega amps. It's split between the two batteries because this is going to be a a 20s. No, it's not. It's a 10s. Oh shit! The current is going to be full. Oh well, I ain't got a choice. That's the way it's got to work. <laughs> <laughs> 